Hello, Ken. Thanks for coming back. Uh, if you could be so kind to hit the uh, like, subscribe, uh, throw down a comment, and hit the notification bell, I greatly appreciate it. Um, uh, this is... Uh, uh, spit it out already. This is College Football Revamped. I am the head coach of the Mississippi State Bulldogs, and we are 1-0. and oh. uh, In our opening week, we beat the South Carolina Gamecocks to open uh, not just the season, but conference play. Uh, it was a tough one. Uh, 17 to seven was the final. Really should have been 17 to nothing if I had just run out the clock like I should have. Um, but it was a defensive battle to be sure. I unveiled a new offense, which was a little bit up and down. I'm hoping it was down because South Carolina's defense was good, and they were scheming to take some things away from me. Uh, this week we got Louisiana Tech. It should give us a better idea of what our offense is capable of i expect our talent to be a little bit better and hopefully louisiana tech will give us a little bit of a different look defensively just from their alignment and, and see how my offense fares against them recruiting there's not really anything of note uh, i'll go in here real quick just to show you we've moved up on some of these guys' boards um but for the most part, we're just we're battling it out. Nobody's interested in coming on a visit yet. I haven't quite built some of these guys up that far. But yeah, we're just we're staying after some guys and seeing if we can uh, get them in for a visit soon. So not a lot new there. We're just working away on the recruiting trail. So let's get into this one. It's the Mississippi State Bulldogs against the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. I will be running the Pistol Wing Quarterback Stack Custom Playbook I made once again. And the 3-4 defense. I will be simming the defense. Maybe I'll call a, a player a, a series or two this game. Maybe I won't. It's just going to depend on what I feel like. I'm not really committing to anything defensively. I will continue to call the offensive plays though. Seeing how I was an offensive coordinator, I am going to uh, continue to do the play calling even though I've taken over as head coach. Hopefully my quarterbacks can uh, not turn the ball over as much as they did in the last one. Uh, Will Rogers threw three interceptions. All three incompletions happened to be uh, interceptions by the defense. So not great. We got we got cut down on some of them turnovers. Uh, let's kick the ball here. And hopefully we'll clean some things up. Get my defense out there. We're playing in the rain. I do want to run more on this offense, but South Carolina made it very difficult for me to accomplish that. So, see if we can get some different looks out of the uh, Louisiana Tech Bulldogs today. I'll come out calling some uh, triple option. I need to switch my quarterbacks again, apparently. We're going to option the other direction, just based on their alignment. Oh, yeah, they came downhill pretty hard, didn't they? I don't know, maybe I'll try. I'm a, on second thought, I'm going to try the quarterbacks in this alignment today. Maybe being able to throw out of uh, play action will help my freshman quarterback a little bit more as opposed to just doing straight, you know, five wide shotgun drops. Maybe maybe Rodgers will do a little bit better in that position. So we'll switch it up today and see. It'll give us a little bit of a, a little bit more data on which way I want my who I want to be my alpha quarterback and who I want to be my beta. All right, we got uh, third and short here. I'm gonna come out in a little play action call. We'll try play action slide to the slide out there. There he is, easy. Love it. Like I said last time, I am using more uh, air raid passing concepts, so it'll lot of it'll be a lot more timing routes. Um, a lot more of the uh, underneath sort of routes as opposed to trying to go vertical all the time. Which kind of kills me a little bit inside because, man, I just love throwing the vertical ball. But based on the type of quarterbacks I want to have in this uh, offense, I thought maybe air raid concepts would be a little bit of a better match for them. A little bit easier for... Quarterbacks who are a bit more athletic, but perhaps don't have the uh, the arm strength to push it vertically as uh, consistently. Right, so we're getting a few things going on the ground here today, so far. Get upfield. Wasn't able to turn it upfield. 
corner came crashing down pretty hard. Third and five. I might just empty it out here and see see what we can find. I'll try a little uh, mesh dig. This is my beta set, so the uh, alpha quarterback will motion out, and it'll just basically be a shotgun empty look. Oh, he's not going to get there. Oh, does he fall for it? Yes, he does, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Got it. I thought he was going to end up short. He had to come back for the ball a little bit, even. But it don't matter. It didn't even matter. He's got it. Uh, I'm going to try a run play out of this. Try a little quarterback power. Ooh, no. Ooh, no. That's not going to work at all. Safety came flying downhill. Shut that down rather quickly, didn't he? Um, let's try stick. Let's see if we can get some of these yards back. Also, Mitchell, my freshman quarterback, who's like I, I have in the uh, alpha spot right now, is a little bit better of a runner. So I'm hoping maybe. Sorry, I'm trying to decide what play I want to run. I'm hoping maybe that will help him in these uh, beta sets. Because he's a little more athletic, so if I get him out there running routes, maybe that'll work a little bit better for my offense. Oh, you got to get rid of it. Well, he throws it to the other quarterback. But we're going to end up short. Uh, not sure. We are past midfield, but I'm not sure with how inconsistent my offense is to this point. If I want to go for it. Ah, we'll just punt. It's early. Let's play field position a little bit here. That's 35 yards, zero yard return for them. So a pretty good punt. We get the ball right back at about midfield, right where we were. So that worked out well for us. Let me get back over here to my alpha sets and uh, get back to running the football a little bit. My goodness, the corners are just doing a great job playing the pitch man. That's unfortunate for us. Isn't it? It's a little unfortunate for us. Got a single safety. Try a little play action. Ooh. Great job by the defender to come up and make a play on that. Third and 11. I'm going to try running some option. Maybe they'll give us a favorable look. Maybe. I'm going to try it. Some bobbing and weaving. All right, so we're in the same position again. Just past midfield. My defense is playing well. I'm just going to go for it here. Let's just try to go for it. I'm going to try that triple option look again. Test. Oh, I don't know. Having the pitch man as the defensive end there is kind of awkward. Let's try a pass play here. Gives him a little play action look, rolls out, finds nobody, takes a sack. Come on, freshman quarterback. <laughs> Terry Cutler, you are not. <laughs> I miss you, Terry. Gosh, I miss you so much. All right, so that bit us in the butt. Uh, they do go up seven to nothing. It's unfortunate. You know, I probably should have, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. Probably should have just played it safe there, considering. I have uh, not the greatest quarterbacks in the world, but it is what it is. 
Keep running our... Oh, lordy. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't do that. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, wow. I don't know how... Why was nobody blocking 40? He was not the, the read man. He was not supposed to be free released. Okay, so that didn't work at all, did it? Hmm. We continue to struggle. Getting anything going in this offense. Maybe this offense isn't going to work very well. It could just be a poorly designed offense. Hey, look at that dive play. Both of the defenders stay out on the option reads. He gives it to the dive. And Will Rogers just runs right up the field for a nice gain. Try a little triple option counter. Pitch it out. There you go. Get up field. And they close down so so quickly. Just not able to gain the edge in any sort of uh, consistent manner. Pitch it out. No, pitch it out. Oh man, I really needed him to pitch the ball there. Probably still be running. Both of the defenders played the quarterback that time. And he did not pitch it out, unfortunately, for us. That's a bummer. Third and long. Ooh, just short. Just short. Well, Rogers is four for four. Um, I'm just gonna try a read option here and see if we can pick this up. It's probably a poor decision, considering all things considered. Just get the first down. Oh, baby, make some move. Will Rogers make something happen? Beautiful. Like where your head's at, kid. Let's let you make some more decisions with the football then. Run a little air raid. See what you got. Ooh, they're going to press. See if Wally can beat the press up the sideline over there. Top of the screen. Throws it out to the quarterback, Justin Mitchell. Throwing some, showing some nice hands. So they had a couple opportunities to bring in the uh, the pass and has done so. So that's nice. That's nice. The beta quarterback display or the oh, Woo man! I thought he left that on the ground. Don't do that now. We're moving the football finally. Don't do that to me now. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the thirty. Triple option towards the boundary. Takes the dive man. Not much doing. We're gonna get into the. Ah, no. Let's call a timeout. I don't want to use that much clock. Even getting into a. Even getting into a hurry up. We would use more clock there than I want to. So many defenders stacked out there. It's ridiculous. Oh, we jumped some man. There's too many guys there. I don't want to use another timeout so quickly. Um, we'll go to the beta. Run 
some verticals. Come on. We're using a lot of clock here, more than I wanted to. Uh oh. Mmm. That's a bummer. Even if we pick this up, we'll run out of time, but... Yeah, you didn't get anywhere close to picking it up. Good thing we used all that time. So I don't think it was just South Carolina's defense being good. I think the design of my offense is not uh, working as well as I had hoped. I am tempted to uh, to bring back my five wide offense I was running at Michigan and see how the, the guys at uh, Mississippi State handle it. Now, I do got some, other than my quarterbacks being a little rough, I do got some guys at wide receiver and tight end that could certainly run that playbook. So you guys will have to uh, leave a comment let me know what you think. Should I keep going with this wacky little offense? It's two quarterback system, or should I go back to the uh, five wides? Or throw out other ideas. If you got other ideas, let me know what you think. If you got something else you'd like to uh, like to see me try, then I'm open to suggestions. It's first down. We did get the pitch out. Man, the close out so fast. I feel like that should be a good play. But by the time the pitch gets out there to him, the defense has already closed out on it. It's tough. Makes things a bit tough, doesn't it? Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 49 yard line. Get the pitch out. There we go. Get up field. Good block out there, number 11. I think that's Marks. Nope, the other tight end. That was a good run. I'm getting some things going in the run game. Been attacking that side. Now we'll come back with the strong flood and see if we can attack the other side of the field. See if we can keep him off balance a little bit. Ooh, he decides to run. I like this decision. Nice. Nice decision, Mitchell. Anytime my quarterbacks feel like just pulling that ball down and running with it, I'm a okay with that. They're pretty good athletes. Not the best in the world, but good enough to, uh, clearly, good enough to pick up some yards. So if they feel like they can do that, then I'm all for it. Nice. Oh, yeah, run, baby. Oh, no. Yes! <laughs> Not the prettiest way to get a touchdown, but we'll take it if it stands. I don't think that was actually a fumble. I really don't. Yeah. That was not actually a fumble, which is fine. I mean, we got lots of yards out of it. We'll be at, what, the five-yard line? I mean, that would have been a great way to get a touchdown, but he was definitely he was definitely down before that ball came out. There you go. Elbow hits. Ball pops out. It's not a fumble. So we are going to have to uh, find a way to power into the end zone on our own. No lucky breaks for us. But we are on the five yard line. Um, I'm just going to try a read option here to the, the strong side. That guy all the way out there is the read key. Huh? Well, let's see what happens when we actually run this. Nothing good. <sighs> Every time I'm down here, I keep getting negative yards. The negative yards are killer. That is a killer. Yeah, well, we got some of it back. Hmm. What is the play to get us into the end zone? I 
don't think this is going to be the play. I've got lots of guys stacked in there. Get rid of it. Ah! Should have gone with the beta set and let my more experienced quarterback throw the football down there. I mean, I was hoping to just run it in, if I'm being honest. Hoping just a nice, easy run play. So we settle for three. Unfortunate that fumble wasn't actually a fumble. That would have given us a touchdown. We have to come away with three. Hopefully our defense can get a stop and we'll get uh, another opportunity to take the lead. All right, they, they do get the stop. Try running a little hurry up here. See what that does. See if that does anything for us. All right, nice little, easy little pick up there. Hmm. See if this works for us at all. Nope. Oh, the corner is always there to make a play. All right, punting the ball away. Hopefully they don't go and score because that's going to make things real tough for us. They didn't, which is good. All right. Running out of clock there. A little interruption from my son. My apologies. I ran out of time, so I had to burn a timeout, which is not what I want to do in this situation. But I also didn't want to take a penalty. So it is what it is. Life happens sometimes. Oh, uh, that's not great. That is not really great for us. Uh, let's try a little wide cross flood. We'll try the beta set here and let uh, Will Rogers throw the ball around a little bit for us. Maybe he can get something going. Nope, he's going to get sacked. Oh my gosh, get rid of the football, man. Wow. There is nobody. I mean, he had the guy in the flats if he threw it right away, which he should have because this guy is clearly barreling down on him. But he's not getting any yards out of that even if he throws that. I mean, there's just nobody there. There was just nobody there. Can't really fault him for that because there was just nowhere to go with the football. Third and 23. Hey! Oh my gosh, fourth and three. Do we try it? I am tempted. I'm going to try a mesh dig here and see if we can pick it up. There is some concern because they've been able to get to my quarterback, but I'm hoping if I run these underneath routes, he will actually get rid of the football before the defense can get there. He does. Woo, just barely pick it up. All right, we're still alive. Really didn't want to have to punt the ball there and give them the ball back. If they go and score, that's bad for us. Even if they don't go and score, they use more clock, which is also bad for us. It's not a really great situation to be in. Got some short passes here. They're bringing some pressure. All right, it's a good throw. Good run after the catch. Another 12 yards. Um, I might go back to a little option. Oop, we gotta go back to alpha. I'm gonna go back to a little bit of option look here. 
I'm I'm not opposed to just burning out the clock and scoring a touchdown to take the lead and the win. Pretty shifty running for my quarterbacks. I mean, they're not the fastest guys in the world, but they do a pretty decent job. Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Powers his way. Who says he's just a quarterback? Running over defenders to get that first down. I love it. I love it. This is the eighth play of this drive. Just under three to go in regulation. Not many yards out of that play, though. Hey, we're ready for that. Hmm, the quarterback's getting tired, isn't he? That's a bummer. Well then, perhaps we just try throwing the football here. <clears throat> I don't want him to necessarily run the football if he's getting tired and risk fumbling. Oh, we find somebody. There we go. There we go. Nice. Good find. Look at that. Beautiful route. Beautiful throw. Beautiful catch. Beauty. That's a beauty. Let me just try a straight, uh, straight run play here. A little inside zone split. Because Rodgers is not... Uh, Rodgers isn't showing his fatigue just yet. Ooh, close. We are on the doorstep, ladies and gentlemen. back to that same play we're just gonna go back to that same play and see if we can power the ball in there yeah I mean if he gets stopped short and we you know burn some more clock that's there we go Woo! Mississippi State gets in takes the lead see if our defense can hold on for us for a touchback. Uh, we'll go a little 3-4, cover 3. I don't want to go like pre full prevent, so I would like to keep him away from field goal range if we can help it. They opt to run the ball. It's just an interesting decision. Well, I guess they got all three timeouts, don't they? So, ooh. Four wide receivers. I uh, will come out in a dime. We'll run a little uh, zone. Oh, no, we won't. I didn't get the play call in. We'll say we'll run a little zone blitz, but that's all right. Looks like we're just going to drop back into a bit of a safe zone, and that's okay. That's what my D coordinator wants. That's what he's feeling. Quarterback holds it. Oh! Throws it into quadruple coverage, and we can't come away with the pick. That would have been huge. That would have sealed the game. Let's ask Coach. What is he feeling? Cover two bluff. Uh, I think I'm going to go cover three buzz. No, I'm going to go two man under. Let's go two man under. Um, just try to keep people. Hopefully my safeties don't give up the deep ball. No pressure on the... Oh, as I start to say, no pressure on the quarterback. We get home. Nice. Um, I'm just going to go two man under again. Why not? It's worked before. 
Come on, defense. One more stop for me. Let's get one more stop for me. Get to the quarterback. Ha ha ha! Nice! <laughs> All right, not going to make the same mistake as I did last week. We're just going to take a knee, and we are going to get out of here with the win. A very poor performance against Louisiana Tech. I think that the issue is with my offense, not with the uh, <laughs> skill of the opposing defense. Louisiana Tech's uh, defense, I mean, they weren't bad, but they weren't world beaters by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but even they gave us trouble and kept us from doing what we want to do, so... Might have to try changing things up. Maybe I'll just experiment with different types of uh, offenses and see what I feel like works best for this team. Um, maybe I'll experiment a little bit with a traditional flex bone. Um, I'm not opposed to um, bringing back my five wide um, offense and seeing how this set of personnel for Mississippi State runs that offense. So I'm going to go look at my roster a little bit more. I will play around with some ideas. And we'll see what uh, see what happens. Uh, throw a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. If there's a particular offense you want to see, if you want me to see me try to stick with this, um, I just I honestly don't see this one getting that much better. So it's been pretty meh so far. I mean, the idea of it would work better in real life, I think, than it would in a video game. Because in real life, you wouldn't know which quarterback it was going to be snapped to until. You know, unless that quarterback motions out, but then the play is already in motion. So that could be a bit confusing in real life, but, you know, in a video game, the AI kind of knows who you're going to snap the ball to anyway. So maybe, uh, maybe not as effective in a video game, but I'll play around with some ideas, see what else we can come up with. We'll try a few things. Not been impressed with the offense so far. Will Rogers goes 9 for 9 for 92 yards. Uh, Justin Mitchell, 5 of 7 for 62 yards. It's not a bad day throwing the football, but rushing is just not there. 16 rushes, minus 27 yards. 13 for Rogers, 59 yards. So a little bit better day for him. One touchdown, 6 for 27 for Marks. You know, average yards per carry, not bad. Close to 5. Uh, Gardner had a pretty nice day. Marks for 45. Two for eight. No touchdowns in the passing game today. Obviously, we only had the one touchdown. So, pretty quiet day offensively. Defensively, defense looks pretty good. We got three sacks on the day. No interceptions. And no forced fumbles. So, just a solid day from the defense. Getting after the quarterback. Getting stops. Keeping us in the game. So, Mississippi State gets the 10-7 uh, to win. So, that'll wrap this one. Remember, all love, all the time. Peace.